We're going to do one more story problem here, and the main thing we want to work on in this problem is understanding when we're setting up the equation whether we're supposed to be multiplying our variable by a given number or adding it or subtracting it or, or what we're supposed to do. Um, so far in most of the examples it's been pretty explicit you know it'll it'll say you know you know three times a smaller number equals five less than four times a larger number you know something something like that um, but uh, here we're not really going to be given any specific instructions as to how the equation sets up and so we're going to try to um, just from the real world information they give us try to f see if we can't figure out um, how it all works together. So it says, suppose that a TV salesman makes $350 per week plus $26 for every TV he sells. How many TVs did he sell if he made $714 last week? Okay. So first of all, we understand that we're looking for the number of TVs sold. So that's the only thing that it's asking us to find. So we'll let that be our X. So X will equal number of TVs sold. Okay. And we know that he made $714 last week. So it would make sense to somehow have 714 equal to an expression that gives us the uh, that gives us this 714 um, based upon how many TVs he sold. So here's what we want to do. Let's first look at 350. Does 350 have anything to do with how many TVs he sells? Well, it actually doesn't, right? He makes $350 per week regardless of how many TVs he sells. So that means that 350 should be off on its own. Shouldn't multiply it by X or anything like that because it does not depend upon um, how many TVs are sold. Then it says plus $26 for every TV sold. Okay, So that means we're adding on more to how much he makes. And we're adding on how much? Well, $26 for every TV sold. So that means he gets $26 one time for selling one TV, two times for selling two, eight times for selling eight, and so on. So in other words, what we'll do here is we will multiply 26 by the number of televisions. All right, so this is the equation we want. And so if we can just solve for x, we'll know based on the fact that he made $714, we'll figure out how many TVs he must have sold to do that. So we'll go ahead and subtract 350 from both sides. So we have just 26x on the right. And on the left side here, 364. And so we have 364 divided by 26. And that'll isolate my x. And we'll need to do a little division here. So of course, 26 goes into 36 one time. And let's see, 26 goes into 104 how many times? Uh, four at the most. So four times six is 24, and it goes in exactly four times. So that means we get 14 for our x. So that must mean he sold 14 TVs.